have to be bullied. Snap suplex. Nice. Shades of the Dynamite Kid. One, two. Not enough, though. Prime time now. Side suplex. One, two. Not enough. Should have hooked the leg there. Boy, I'll tell you, this Peterson is a great wrestler. I've never been able to figure out his head, though. I've known him for a while. I mean, sometimes I, I like the guy. Sometimes I think he's just, just an idiot. And Beautiful I, I double arm uh, hook suplex there. He, he just seems uh, unpredictable and, and foolhardy and foolish and rushes in and uh, well, whatever he other like negative he rushed things in I could there. think of on the spur of the moment to but say. He rushed into that arm drag, that's for sure. And it paid off. Oh, beautiful clothesline. Primetime Peterson now. Oh, beautiful plancha. Beautiful. That took something out of Peterson as well. Once again, it's things like that that differentiate MPW from the other wrestling groups, which is why Millennium Pro Wrestling is destined for stupid, stupid oh, in stardom. In the ring, <laughs> B-Boy and the other Good Ballard. Zeke. Wait a minute, oh! Beautiful, look at that. Now what's B-Boy gonna do? I don't like the looks of this, but no, B-Boy, this is what they call high risk. Oh, uh, look at it. Peterson and both Ballards. B-Boy's at it again. Oh my God! Extraordinary! Now that's beautiful the kind of thing we want to see from plancha. MPW. That was a beautiful twisting plancha by B-Boy. I'll tell you, you know, I would pay I would pay to see that if I had any money. If you had any money. If I had any money, yeah. I'd what do you do with all your money? Now nah, I buy yachts, I buy houses in West Beverly Hills or whatever the hell uh, that guy okay. said. Yeah, all right. You know, whatever. I buy a lot of Girl Scout cookies. Well, the Ballards don't seem to know what to do with these guys. They don't. They, the Ballards. I mean, the Ballards dominate everybody they wrestle, but tonight they just seem can't, can't seem to get the upper hand. They must still be distracted by Craze and Tech Nine. I think they got a big enough problem just worrying about B-Boy and Primetime Peterson. Now they have the upper hands. The Ballard's out stomping away well, at Primetime Peterson. Well, that's true. Finally, they got cut a break here. But the question is, for how long? That is true. Ballard's now with the now, upper hand. Now, see, now's when the Ballard's start to get a little cocky. They start to think that they own the ring. Well, they own Primetime oh. Peterson now. Yeah, Beautiful they're really double dealing Russian out some business sweep. to Primetime Peterson. Peterson started out good, but now well, the Ballards are showing why they're count. considered to be the hottest tag team on the indie circuit. They are the hottest tag team, one of the hottest tag teams. And cheerleader Melissa is out there, and you got to keep an eye out for her, too. She's been known to get involved in the ring. Yeah, she interferes in these matches, you know. But she's looking out for her guys. You can't blame her, really. She's got to... Well, as a manager Keep yourself. She's got to watch their back. As a manager yourself, That's you right. should know that. That's right. Managers, we don't we don't like to do bad things. We don't like to well, cheat. Well, speaking but sometimes, of interference. So no, no, she's supposed to be there. Do, uh, Wait a minute. No, she isn't. No, no, this is part of the rule book. Oh, my God. Beautiful leg drop. Well, I don't know. I... Boy, that was a close one, I'll tell yeah, you. That certainly was. I don't know, Larry. I thought that one was over. Into the corner now. Oh, oh. Peterson got a leg up. He still Protecting has some himself. life in him. Oh, there he comes. Oh. And a DDT by the Ballard brother. Just when you think you're out, he draws you back in. He certainly does do that. Didn't make the tag yet. Oh, head into the turnbuckle. Oh, but primetime oh. Peterson fighting his way out of the corner. Peterson's taking them both on now. I got to give this kid gut. He's giving a message to the Ballards. Can he get over to B-Boy? Can He's... he get over to B-Boy? No, nah, not B -boy. this time. Oh. Not this time. Ballards, this is smart wrestling. 
Boy, I'll tell you, the Ballards aren't about to let him get any upper hand. Now they're working on the, the right leg. This is shades of the Anderson family. Exactly. Where they liked it. Just worked on one part of your body. That's exactly what they used to like to do. And they would never let the other guy get the upper hand. And every time Peterson tries to make a comeback, they stop it before Wait it can even minute. get started. A double Boston Crab. Well, if anybody knows about crabs, it's me. And I'm telling you right now, that has got to hurt like hell. Now, what, do you, what exactly do you mean by crabs? Oh, but wait a minute, Melissa coming in the ring now. No, Aim Melissa's just trying to make sure that the referee is doing his job, that's all. Wait a minute. She wants to make sure the is referee she going Aaron for a, is doing his job. A camel clutch. No, 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 that's, that's okay. That's part of the manager handbook, so you How can do that. How is that okay? No, no, it was all right, Larry Parks. Don't ask me a question, just shut up and pay attention. Is that what you teach at your no, school? No, no, just never mind. You got to give the Ballards credit because they use that experience in the ring to win the match, and that's what matters here tonight. And Melissa is doing her best to help out. Beautiful. And now the audience knows that the Ballards have got the upper hand, so now they're trying to chant to say bad things against Canada, which happens to be one of the greatest states in the United States, all of you know. Really? Oh my goodness, beautiful super kick by Primetime Peterson. Well, you know, Peterson, Peterson keeps trying to come back, but they won't let him do it. He gets up and he doesn't have a chance. Oh, beautiful Enzagiri. Not only that, but he kicked him in the head. He certainly did. Exactly. That move remind, reminded me a lot of Logan X. You know, he did that just like Logan X. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Oh, that is true. Yeah. Reversal now. Oh, a meeting in the minds there. And that move reminded me a lot of Barry Cohen. Of who? Uh, uh, the, yeah. B-Boy with the hot the tag. B-Boy, B-Boy's B -boy. got him. This could be it, he's got the balance going. This body is exactly slam. what they've been waiting for. Two body Peterson's slams. Peterson's needed help, he needed a break. And oh, out. beautiful. Out. Puts it in. B-Boy right, is B -boy on fire. B-Boy is cleaning house, man. He's B saying he's gonna put him away, this is it. Could this be it? What could is B-Boy gonna go for end? here? Oh, running Death Valley That's driver. It. All he's gotta That's do is gotta be work. it. One. Two. Oh, oh but, no, but his brother came back in and made the save. Beautiful I'm save by the brother. You got to give that I'm to him. I'm telling you, That's the smart Ballards wrestling. are so lucky because they just came that close to losing all the fame and fortune and all the respect. That is true. That is true. That is very smart wrestling by these guys. And I'll tell you, B-Boy is nothing short of spectacular here. Uh, beautiful reversals uh, here. Extremely impressive. Another one. This has got to be the fifth one. Well, it's a good math lesson for referee Aaron Hassan. Uh, That's how you learn how to count. You do uh, it over and over so. again until you get it right. Backslide attempt. Which win, Which man will win? The Ballard All right, now with B -Boy's the upper body his... strength advantage. Another no, two count. No Mahistral Cradle. There he goes. This is it. This could oh, be it. No. But inter interference by the brother. No. Boy, the ballots keep coming back. I'm telling you, every time these guys try to get the upper hand. Oh, double kick now. Beautiful double team move there. Now, B-Boy's in trouble now. Oh, but a save by Primetime Peterson. Now, Peterson's trying to help out. He's doing what he's supposed to do. He comes in, he tries to help his partner, but it might be too little, too late. It might because just be. I'm star I don't know about you, Larry. I'm starting to think that the Ballards are getting the upper hand of this match. They, they and might once just you let the Ballards get the upper hand, it's all oh. over. Oh, I don't know about that, though. Well, there I was another meeting of the minds there, but I don't know how much of, no. of minds the Ballards have, to be honest with you. Wait no. a minute. Melissa now. <laughs> Melissa's keeping an eye on things out there. Oh, my goodness. A double that reverse Russian leg sweep, and it is. That's it. That's the end.
The experience the of the Beller brothers, brothers paid match. off. Well, I'm telling you, Larry, that was a great, great tag team match. It was. It was. And I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch. I'll tell you the truth. It, I'd like to see a rematch someday. You might between just see these that. two teams. You might just see a rematch because that, that team was right one there, heck of a match. That team of B-Boy and Primetime Peterson is one of the greatest tag teams I've seen here on the Indy Circuit. I'm really they happy worked to have very been well here for together. That. They have not been teaming very long, but they've worked very well together. But they have nothing to be ashamed of. And the Ballards just consider it to be a tune-up match for their next match against Craze and Tech Nine. And the Ballards leave MPW Arena well, as winners. Right there, you got a great tag team, Brian Ty Peterson and B-Boy. And I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of great things from these guys. I think you will. They make a great team. They're both great individual wrestlers, and they just proved themselves to be one of the finest new tag teams here in Southern California. A new force in professional wrestling raises its head, Millennium Pro Wrestling, and they want to pack the card with as much talent as they can. So what do they do? They find the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels, God's gift to professional wrestling, and they enter him in the tournament to name the first MPW heavyweight champion. Who else do they get? The future Frankie Kazarian, Scrap Iron, Adam Pierce. Well, guys, I got a lot of respect for both of you. Frankie, a hometown guy, right out of Southern California, lots of talent. Adam Pierce, a major warrior out of the Midwest, coming to the West Coast to make a name for himself. But boys, understand this. Everywhere you've been, I've been, and I've been successful. Midwest, West Coast, all around the world. I don't have to put my resume on the table for anybody. And so Millennium Pro Wrestling, your best bet is this. When I get in the ring with Adam Pierce and Frankie Kazarian, know that I will walk out of the ring the first MPW heavyweight champion. And Frankie, Adam, that's not a threat. That's not a promise. That's the gospel, according to the fallen angel. You know, it's funny. People come up to me and say, who the hell is Scrap Iron Adam Pierce? Where does he come from and what is he all about? Well, let me enlighten you. Let me school you, if you will. I'm coming from Chicago, Illinois, the place where people get things done, not by business, but personally. Now, I talk about Chris Daniels all over the internet, all over the world, talking about WCW making money and that type of thing. Well, let's go back to the history, if you want, Chris Daniels. We go back to 1993, Windy City Pro Wrestling, where you started. My backyard, your backyard. In my hood, that makes us brothers. You know that as well well as I do, and we could talk about Frank Kazarian. The brother don't have a clue. You see, the deal is this, Frankie Kazarian, you talk about you the future. Well, in my book, you're probably yesterday's news. You don't know a damn thing about Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, and where I come from, there's an old saying, Kazarian, and that is that I don't give a rat's ass about you. Understand one thing, Millennium Pro Wrestling wants to put on a heavyweight title tournament. Person that's in the name of psychosis that ain't gonna show. That's another situation, but we'll make it a three-way dance. And dance we will. I don't really care if I walk out with a heavyweight championship as much as I care if I get paid. That's really the bottom line. And if I have to break a couple noses to do it, it don't bother me none anyway. You're gonna find out real quick, Southern California, who Scrap Iron Pierce is. And mark my words and understand it very clearly. Tonight only marks the beginning. The future won't be Frankie Kazarian for long. Understand my words and understand it very good. I am Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, and that's all you need to know. At Millennium Pro Wrestling debuts their first show, and I, the future Frankie Kazarian, will be the man to carry this promotion into the next millennium. Standing in my way, two guys, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce and the Fallen Angel Christopher Daniels. Adam Pierce, this is your first match in Southern California. It very well could be your last. Chris Daniels, as far as you're concerned, I have a lot of respect for you, all the respect in the world, but tonight, the Fallen Angel's wings get clipped. Why? Because I'm the future, and the future looks good. Sure. The Frankie future Kazarian. Frankie Kazarian. I'll tell you, this guy's a fairly new wrestler on the circuit, but he's an extraordinary wrestler. The guy never loses. He's just a, he's a great wrestler, but I'll tell you the truth. I think he's ugly as sin. And 